Good morning from a path somewhere near St Helens. As you may guess, today is not the theme park video. Don't worry, theme park fans, we'll be back at another theme park very soon with some surprise guests as well, who'll be in our next theme park video. That'll be out on Saturday, I think. Max is here with us, obviously. This bit of the path is just grass, so it's not really a path. <laughs> and I'm beginning to question how waterproof these shoes are anymore. We're doing a nice four hour walk with the dog. But don't worry, it won't be in real time or anything like that. I'm not expecting you to sit through four hours of doggo. I decided that I need to get a bit fitter again, hence the big walk. So hopefully lots more big walks, running, a bit of cycling as well maybe. Get on my bike for the first time in a while. Because I've been piling too much weight on recently. Far too much theme park food I think. At the moment we're just walking along the former Sankey Canal. Well it's still a Sankey Canal but it's no longer in use. This bit here is a former lock. You can see the steps there where a canal boat would go in and gradually drop it down until it get down there. That bit with all the tires and all the rubbish dumped in it. This canal was originally built all the way back in 1757. So it's quite historic, isn't it, Pooch? The dog looks highly interested in this information. Mostly he wants his toy. Come on, goodbye. Come on, we're going back this way. Let's go this way. Found a swan. Lots of swans here along this section of the canal. And the dog's very intrigued. <laughs> you want to say hello to the swan, mate? I think swans get quite angry when doggos mither them. Come on, we're going this way. Good boy. All the reeds here. Long grass. What are they? Are they reeds or is it just long grass? Or are reeds? and long grass the same thing? I don't know, let me know. I'm not a nature expert. If anyone's interested, there is a visitor centre here next to the shipping pub in Blackbrook and they offer kind of guided tours on an occasional basis, that sort of thing. You can learn a little bit more about the history of the canal and the surrounding area. Max is sitting very patiently waiting for his toy. And this kind of pond bit here used to be like a turning circle for the canal boats back when this was an industrial canal and there's a replica here of a kind of crane that they would use to lift loads in and out of the boats. Just said hello to Stevie's dad, who's out on his mountain bike. It's a really popular route for walking, cycling, running, anything you want down here, because it's nice and quiet, it's traffic free. It's just really good to get out in the fresh air. We're about a quarter of the way into the walk, aren't we, Max? That's exciting, isn't it? We have just reached Carmel Dam, which we're currently stood on a bridge above the dam itself. And this dam was originally built to provide water for the Sankey Canal that we saw earlier. And because of the dam, it means we get this big lake here. This is really nice to come for a walk around. It's also really popular for fishing. And it's the home of the Lancashire Powerboat Club. They have powerboat racing on here as well. Just about sea off in the distance over there, the top of Billinge Hill. And that is where we will be in about an hour, hopefully. Judging by the fact we can barely see it, I'm not very hopeful for us having particularly good views from the summit today. We'll see, maybe it'll clear up a little bit. I took my sunglasses off because there was no point. <laughs> the sun is far away somewhere behind those clouds. There's a little sign here just giving you information about the type of wildlife that you can see here at Carmel Dam. We've got a map of the dam itself here. Showing you the footpath all the way around. And then here's some of the wildlife that you can see. Kingfishers here somewhere. I think I've ever seen a kingfish around here. I always think this little turret here on this building, the farm we're just walking past, looks like something off Hogwarts or something. There you go, there's the extent of my bird watching skills. There's a pigeon on a telephone wire. I can tell you what that one is. Are you enjoying yourself, Max? It's nice and relaxing, isn't it? Perhaps not so relaxing when you go running around field like you've just been doing a minute ago. We're having a lovely morning though. One really good thing about this route is that Max can stay off his lead for the majority of it, which is a blessing for Max because 
as good as a dog he is, and of all the training we've done with him, getting him to walk nicely on the lead is the one bit of training that he just doesn't get. He doesn't understand <laughs> how to walk nicely on a lead. So for this walk, it's just the first kind of 15 minutes or so from our house until we get on the path, which is where he has to be on his lead. And then other than a few bits where we have to cross roads and that sort of thing, he's off lead and out in the countryside for the whole part, which is really good. It's better for him and it's better for us as well. So far this walk hasn't been too strenuous, but very soon we're going to turn right and go up there. And this is the bit where it starts to get a little bit hard and I'll probably be out of breath. Right, this is where it gets steep now. It's been fairly flat most of the way from, or well, from home really. And now we do all of the elevation within about the last three quarters of the mile of the walk to the top. I would quote Ian Malcolm from Jurassic Park when they meet the Triceratops, but this is a family channel, so I'm not gonna say it. We're getting there, just round the edge of this field. And that's the top over there. And then we can sit and have a breather. Hey, the sun's trying to break through over there. That'd be nice if we get a bit of sunshine on us at the top, wouldn't it, Max? You gotta stay to the path, mate. We've gotta go around the edge, you can't just cut across the field. <laughs> Max is leading the way to the summit because he knows we're gonna have a snack when we get there. We've made it to the top, haven't we, pal? Should we have some breakfast now? We've not had any breakfast yet, have we? Have this portable water bottle for Max, which is really useful on long walks like this. As I was just saying, this bottle unfolds and then you can squirt water just down in there, and Max can have a drink, but apparently he doesn't want to drink at the moment. Oh, there you go. The good boy. Good lad. Is that nice? I was going to show you the view from the top, but you can't really see much at the moment because it's really misty or hazy. And Max is, oh, Max is actually avoiding the muddy puddle for once, which makes a change. But we're actually going to go a different way home than the way that we came up the hill. So you can see that path there and then down the right hand side of those trees is the big steep bit that we came up before and then we walked all the way up there round the side of these trees and then round the field over there up to the top of the summit which is just behind those trees the way home we're going to go down this way and this is a more of a kind of gradual route which we've got to do a little bit of road once we get past the top of the hill here but then we'll be once we're the other side of the kind of billinge village we'll be back in fields and then it's just a gradual slope all the way back down to Carmel Dam where we meet up where we went earlier. In fact, if you can just see that slither of water off in the distance over there, I'm zoomed in quite a bit, so apologies if it's a bit shaky. That's Carmel Dam down there where we're going and we'll be back there in about an hour. You actually see that this part of the path is an old cobbled road or track. I wonder how old those cobbles are. That's a good few hundred years. Just to give you an idea of how far down we've come, if I quickly zoom in here, there we go, there's the top of Billings Hill and we were just sat by that box a little while ago. Now we're all the way down here, making good time. It's downhill so it's easy this bit. There's some lovely horses in the field here and this one's eating a hawthorn hedge, which is a new one. Is that not really spiky, Mr. Horse? Or Mrs. Horse? Look at this handsome doggy by the water. He has just been for a dip, but he's not going in now, I'm filming. <laughs> he's not going in the water for the camera. Did you have enough after that little dip? What are you doing? You're very strange, doggy. We have been out for about four hours now. And as you can see, Max is still full of energy. This dog takes a lot of tiring out, but he will when we get home, just hit a wall of sleep and he'll just be passed out for the rest of the day then. Not too far away from home now, we've been out for four hours, but we've been a little bit slower than normal because I keep stopping and filming stuff and had a few chats to a few people as well. It's gonna be more like four and a half hours by the time we get home, nearly there anyway. I was just editing this video and I realized that I never did a closing video because it started raining on the way home and I didn't want the camera wet. We just wanted to kind of power walk home and get home as quickly as possible. But yeah, that was a really good walk. I really enjoyed that day out. And I'm gonna start trying to do that probably once a week, unless it clashes with any theme park trips or anything like that. Overall, that walk turned out to be about 19 miles or just over 30 kilometers. It was a big walk, but it was really good. And 
if you're local to the area and you've never been up Billings Hill, I really recommend it because it's a lovely place. And when the weather's a little bit nicer than it was on Sunday, you can see you get some really great views from there. You can see Liverpool and Manchester and all the kind of surrounding area. So with that being said, that is it for today. Thanks very much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to follow our adventures. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.